Hey guys, Afony here, and today um, I just wanted to explain something for real quick for the Minecraft community and everything that may be making similar content to this. Um, just as like a like a helper kind of thing, um, I'm gonna have on screen real quick what the problem was. It was mainly um, like a transparency issue or something. It's not solved entirely, but there is a solution around it that works for me because it's mainly a 2D platform and. Uh, Anything with transparency effects, unfortunately, may stumble upon an issue like this. So, the best thing I, I guess, worked, which, honestly, this whole thing didn't make any sense to me on how the bug was a thing. So, the solution, I added a block behind there, like a physical block for the background itself. So, now, when it's doing its, like, fade and everything, it's all layered properly you name it um i think the bar itself may be too bright i'm gonna still figure out what the brightness needs to be but um as far as it is it's pretty much solved for now i'm happy that i got that solved and uh hopefully that helps with everyone else here i know it's really hard to explain everything just from just this image specifically but there are layers on this image or this thing so first things first the characters right here the characters are a block now and they're actually instead of being like a perfect 16 flat it's 16.025 i'll show you guys on the model real quick so instead of it being like like i made an actual block here too just in case um so that you, can, you couldn't really see through it or anything which i'm going to double check my work there again by going into spectator and just making sure that like the collision yeah, like you can't see from behind, you know what I mean? Like, especially, I mean, you could through this, but you can't through that. That's why I wanted to double check. It would be smarter just to make mainly make this block flat like this. And then that would work too. But just for extra measure, I just went like, I just did a whole block like that just for now. I mean, I guess it works because everything's covered up and you can't see. So I guess that works too. But that's what I usually do when a block is like, you know, it's missing a piece and it's not supposed to be, quote unquote. And then you can see through the remainder of where the block would normally cover up, that kind of thing. Um, you just basically make something like, like let's say, like, oh, I want a half a block, you know, a vertical slab that doesn't exist. Um, yeah. So then you would just make another. Um, well, it depends on what you're doing, of course. You know, you make another thing, and then there you go. Then you can't see through here, but you can on this side. So you'd have to do the same thing on the other, and the top, and bottom. You know what I mean? I'm not going to save this because, you know, I just edited that. And just reopened it. So, I made a flat image. Everything is transparent, so you can't see the other sides or edges, so it doesn't render. It saves on rendering, I guess. Um, but I only have north working on this one. So just north is visible, east, and everything else is just basically removed. Uh, so I have this piece here. And of course I have it um, 0 0.025 of like negative towards the north axis, I guess, or Z axis. So that it's not clipping in other blocks. And um, at least it's far enough out so that the picture is here. And you can see everything. Also, I gotta um, still do some more adjustments for the fade itself. Like the static isn't low enough. So I'm gonna work on that now because I'm still adjusting everything from the old engine over. But um, apparently there was an issue with the transparency effect with this bar, and that has now been solved. And that was my solution, was just doing that. And also, layering-wise, I completely forgot to, I know I'm all over the place right now. Um, it's hard to explain everything. So, background is the very background. And of course, in front of it would be the bar. And then the background fade would be ahead of it. So the bar is the thing that goes from top to bottom. The background fade is the the fade effect when it goes like black and white. You know what I mean? Like black, like dark and light. You know, like the fade effect. So there, I have a total of nine entities on there that um, replace items when they uh, are called. So um, like if it like it would be like a random number generator between one and nine or whatever. You know, it would fade in, out, in, and out. So I'd give it that give the solid image. A transparency effect instead of giving the whole entire image itself a transparency effect while just using one model but multiple armor stands um in 10p that is 
I don't remember this one. I think this one... No, that's not the static. I don't remember this one. Let me go look at that. Oh, I think I know what it is now. Okay. Into NP, I guess... Um, I don't know what the definition of that means. Like, what I made that for. I guess that's for, like, cutscenes and stuff. So it fades in and out. So that's uh, another thing that I'm going to figure out. I don't know anything about this yet. I'm going to work on that. So just ignore Int NP for now. I don't think it has anything to do uh, with the actual scene on the home menu as of right now. But it could be wrong. Blip is the bars that, uh, that spawn here and there. Um, they should be spawning. If not, I gotta probably move them around. I think they need to be moved again because they're not spawning. Either that or I have the script disabled. Let me double check. So I gotta go look for blip. Or bars RNG in other words. I think, nope, wrong one. Blip, where is it? Um, bars display, here we are. Yeah, it should show. If not, I think I just... Yeah, there it is. It's there, but I think it's just too close. So I'm going to work on the layering. Yeah, it's definitely too close. Yeah, it's too close. Okay. So, like I said, I still got to work on more layering and stuff, but the next layer would be the blip bars, which I'm actually going to scooch one piece back, I guess. So it would be 0 0.004. Static would be 0 0.006, and then... HUD would be 0 0.7. Okay, static is basically the static that you see at all times, which is the animated texture that fades in and out. There's multiple armor stands to overlap each other to make that fade effect stronger or weaker, depending on RNG. Uh, and then, of course, the HUD is obviously the HUD, the Finance Freddy's logo, blah, 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 all that stuff. Now, I'm just going to refresh and reload the script and see if I fix that. And we're going to just recall the function again to reset up the whole entire main screen. And just to see if it... Yeah, there's the bars. Now you guys can actually see the bars properly showing up. It's because I had them too close to another entity and things like that happen. So that's the main purpose of projects like this is... Um, like, well not projects, but like the home screen and everything. I know this is such a weird ass video, but you know, it's whatever. Um, it's mainly to give that aesthetic, aesthetic or whatever of like the actual home menu from the real game and make it look as authentic as possible. I still got to do some more adjustments to it and I'm also using normal field of view so that um, I'm trying my hardest to make sure that um, it's not going to be something like everyone uses Quake Pro for example, you know. I'm assuming by default, because this is default setting, that field of view is going to be normal. I recommend playing at whatever field of view you usually play, but I recommend not playing the map on anything less than normal for field of view. So anything above should be fine. Just take note that um, the screen is going to be smaller. There's nothing I can do against it or about it. So yeah, I know this is a shit show of a video, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I helped in any way, shape, or form. Um, I'm still making the project, I'm still working on it, grinding my ass off right now, working on this, getting this done, <sighs> since I'm finally motivated, and honestly, one thing that's helped me motivate, and I'm actually kind of glad that I thought of it, because when I used to make maps and stuff, I always listened to, like, themes and musics that actually linked with the project I was working on, so having something that constantly reminded me of the project that I'm working on helps a lot. So I think that was the missing key that I had this whole time. So like, for example, I've been listening to like Finance of Freddy's songs again, the old classics from uh, The Living Tombstone again. And uh, that's honestly helped motivate me and kept my mind on this project. So I guess that's another motivational thing. Um, if you're working on something, try listening to something that usually fits with uh, the project you're working with. So like if you're working on Call of Duty, for example, and you're needing to make maps, like not make maps, um, not like, 
I don't know. It doesn't have to be game creation. It can be anything. Whatever you're working on, try listening to something in the background that is similar to it. That may help with other people map making or doing whatever they need to do and just keeps them focused. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I know this is such a random video. I'm just going to upload it anyways because why not? And I'll see you guys next time.